Welcome back to Coaster Trek. Today we are going to walk through Lake Mont Park in Altoona, Pennsylvania, which opened in 1894 at the end of a trolley line, and it is still with us. It's also home to Leap the Dips. Also in this photo is the Minor League Baseball Park, an ice rink. On the right is a parking structure. On the left is a business district with a casino. Yes! And in the middle of those businesses is the actual park. The official entrance is at the bottom. So in the past several years, the park has gone through rough times, but have now changed their plan. Instead of being a struggling amusement park, they've transformed to a more open city park with rides. And their new plan is working very well. This is an older photo. All those spinning rides you see have been replaced with basketball or volleyball courts, and these kitty rides have now been replaced with a second mini golf course. Only two kitty rides survived, and they have been moved over here now. This is their little restaurant, and the original trolley stand is a bar with a bandstand. These are the rides that survived the transition. Most important is Leap the Dips, of course, so let's take a look around. This is the business district. On the end in this red building, over here is the casino. Here's the original entrance that they don't really use very much anymore. People just go around. Also up here is the landmark for the Leap the Dips roller coaster, which was built in 1902. Here are the miniature golf courses. The street music is really good. Keep your fingers crossed that I don't have to delete it due to copyright claims. These basketball courts here and these volleyball courts used to be where the rides were. Here's the trolley station that's been converted to an open-air nightclub. Here are the picnic areas, and it's a nice, beautiful shade of green here. This is one of the two kids' rides that survived the move. Can you believe they said I was too big to go on this? Not fair at all. Look at some still photos. These are the 4x4 kitty cars that survived the change. Here's the entrance to the lake monster boat. They are paddle boats that go through the little lake. Right across there on the island are the water slides, but they are closed for the season due to COVID. There used to be a ride here. Some of the other spots got replaced with a volleyball court. This train looks a little old. Maybe they should put it in a museum. Here is the new train. If you want to go on a ride through, I have that on a separate video.
these ducks are over by the paddle boats, and across the way is the water park, which is closed for the season. Now we're going to cross this area that used to have a ride on it and go see what we really came to Lake Mott Park for. Leap the Dips opened in 1902. It is the oldest roller coaster in the world and the only remaining side friction roller coaster. And I have some on-ride footage and more off-ride footage on a separate video. Go, guys. And you can see here where there used to be rides. Now there's that little stage and over here, while well, there's rocks. But over here you can see they replaced it with volleyball courts. The Skyliner is a rescue roller coaster. It ran in Roseland Park from 1925 to 1985 and in 1987 moved here. I have on-ride footage on a separate video. One thing this ride really needs is a new coat of paint. So if you own a paint store in the area and want to make a big paint donation which would be a great tax deduction during this economy, please give Lake Mont Park all your surplus paint since this ride really needs it.
And the last ride to see is the 10 Lizzie's. It's a pretty long car ride, and I do have on-ride footage right here. And after that, some more still photos. You may also want to check out the separate on-ride videos of the train, Leap the Dips, and the Skyliner. Then check out my other videos and playlists, and most importantly, click that like button, this share button, and definitely that subscribe button.